Okay, so for highlighter, what you want to be doing is taking the high points of your face and making them more defined. So you would take a shade that is like one to two lighter than your skin tone. So that would be this one or this one. And you're going to apply it to like your under eye area, the top of your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, a little bit on your forehead and your chin, and wherever else you want to stand out, depending on your face shape, which I will go over in a different video, specific like contour places and highlight places for your different face shapes. So make sure you watch that video and figure out what you need to be doing. So again, you can go in with your finger with this cream contour. So I'm just going to take this one right here. And again, you can see it looks, it works really, really well. So I'm going to go under my eyes and I will show you. And I'll do concealer on this side and not concealer on this side. I'll just use my regular highlighter on this side. So you can see the difference as to whether you want to use highlighter or concealer or neither. Whatever suits your preference. So... I like to pat it under my eye and then you want to make like a triangle so it brings the focus to the middle of your face so that is where I'm gonna look really crazy in a second guys so that is where you want to be applying that highlight there and you're gonna end up blending it out so you will not look this crazy <laughs> and to your forehead as well And then your chin here. And I personally, I like to apply it around my mouth because I feel like I have like thinner lips. And so if you want to make your lips look bigger, you can go ahead and apply it around your lips as well. Because this will make it look like the sun's hitting you in places which naturally aren't actually hit by the light. Because if they're more like smaller like my lips are, then... You can do this and you can give that optical illusion like things are more prominent than they actually are. So going in, oh yeah, I told you I was going to do that side with concealer. And I'll go down the bridge of my nose as well. And with the bridge of your nose, you want to be careful that you don't then undo the contour that you just did by making your like stripe of um, highlighter way too wide. And so you want to be really, really careful with that. So just thin, thin. Yeah, that's pretty good. And make sure that you make your line straight because if it's crooked, you can make your nose look wicked crooked. A little bit on the tip there. And up the cupid's bow. Okay. And so, oh, and I also like to my brow bone above here as well. So now I'm going to go in with my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm going to spray it with my setting mist. Get it all good. And now I'm going to go in and blend it all out. So for blending, again, with everything else, just like everything else, you want to blend it outwards like this. And so slight outward motion. And blending and really getting in under that eye area because you really want to lighten that area up and the inner corner of your eye as well because that will really make you look more awake even if you went to bed at like 4 a.m because if you're like me and do your homework last minute and then have to do it at crazy times so <laughs> so again with the bridge of your nose you want to be careful so like this beauty blender is really pointy at the top which is great for like really small spots of your face like the bridge of your nose and the tip of your nose and your cupid's bow and really getting it patted in and blended nicely is the key and so this side of my face might look a little bit funky because I used powder for my contour on the side of my face and so it might be putting liquids and creams on top of powders, which is never a good idea. So. And any of the excess that you have in your sponge, you can go under here and really make that contour more defined. 
that's that. It probably looks like really whitewashed right now just because of this harsh lighting, but that is basically the point of that one. And so I will go ahead and I will do the other side, same concept, and I will be doing it with my concealer under my eye instead of my cream contour. So for this side of my face, I'm going to be using my NARS Creamy Concealer, con not contour, and I'm going to be using it for highlighter though, even though it is a concealer, so I'm just going to like stick my finger in that pot there and put it exactly where I put my other highlight on the other side, so under my eye. And with highlighter, you want to get something that's like one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. Unfortunately, with this highlighter, it's a lot lighter than my skin tone, and so this one, the reason this concealer works really nicely for this is that it is almost my skin tone and so it just looks more natural. And so you can decide whatever you want really. It's just up to personal preference. So again, making that triangle down my face, like down my cheeks there. So like when you smile, you can see right there is where you want to be applying your highlighter. And so I will go in and blend this out with my beauty blender. And again, above my brow bone. Mm, all that sort of thing. And I like to put it here too, just in case. Because I have these weird, like, small little purple veins that are right there. And I like to cover those up. <laughs> so, a little bit on my forehead. And inner corner of my eye to make me look more awake. Okay, and so now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend that all out. So I just went in and blended out the um, concealer that I used under my eye and for my highlight on this side of my face. And it looks a lot more natural just because it's not as bright and as light as the cream contour palette had the highlight as. So I typically like this side, the way I did this side with my concealer better because not only does it work as a highlighter, but it is made for concealer so it will high hide like all your like dark circles and things like that so much better. So it's really up to preference of what you want. I typically don't layer concealer and then my highlight on top of it just because there's so much product there and you don't want as, you want as little amount of product on your face as possible with getting the most amount of coverage and using your concealer, like doubling it as your concealer and your highlight can help you do that.